Hello! Hi! We're starting another new subscription box. Yeah. This is Boxu. A lot of you recommended for us to try this and we were waiting a little while because this box is shipped right from Japan mm -hmm. and we were having some delays with other boxes that we were getting from Japan just because of like the slow shipping times, like extra slow shipping times because of the beginning of the quarantine. But this box actually shipped super fast. So Boxu is a monthly subscription box that sends different premium snacks and tea pairings every single month from Japan. So we were just doing some research on this box because I really just like signed up for it, didn't really look that much into it, and I wanted to have like good information to give about like how you can sign up for this box. So we're doing the tasting box. It's a smaller version of their box. It seems like they really only have a classic size box. Most of the boxes that we do have like three different mm -hmm. sizes, but for the most part they're just doing one size, the classic box, and it's $45, which is very expensive just compared to other boxes that we do. So somehow I managed to find this tasting size box. It was $30, so I figured I would sign up for this one, see if we like it. We can't really find it anywhere on their website, but what I could find was that I actually have a link for $10 off of your first box. So I will link that down below if you were interested in signing up for the classic size box, which I guess is larger than the tasting box. Um, $10 off of your first box is actually a lot compared mm -hmm. to any of the codes that we've had for any of the other boxes. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. And the tasting box is 10 to 14 snacks. The classic box is 20 to 24. Oh, that's a ton. So you're getting a lot more. Wow. So I don't know, maybe if we like this, we'll switch to the bigger size. And maybe if you guys sign up for the bigger size or if you're already signed up, let us know. Let us know if it's worth it. So even though I couldn't find where you can currently sign up for the tasting size box, I am able to find some information about the classic box and the tasting box. And since this is our first box, sometimes I like to give a little extra information in the first video just about like the sizes or whatever. So the classic boxu includes an original assortment of 20 to 25 premium Japanese snacks and a tea pairing curated around a cultural theme. In addition to delicious snacks and tea, you will find a culture guide that explains how best to enjoy the items in your box and their craftsmanship stories. And then the tasting boxu contains the same high quality thematic curation as boxu and a sampling of most or all products each month. This means you're not guaranteed to get every product from the classic size box you, but you will get most of them. And each tasting box includes 10 to 14 premium Japanese snacks and a tea pairing. So we're gonna be doing the tasting size box today. So when I was looking on the website, I saw that there are three different themes that the boxes for this month might be. And so it looks like we have the moon festival theme, which just sounds really cool. Like yeah. I think if I had my choice, I would pick moon festival. Otsukimi moon festival. So it comes with this really nice book that has information about the moon festival and the snacks, I guess. And specifically and where they come from in Japan. Yeah, that's really cool. The Yum Box has a map, but it doesn't show it, all of the yeah. snacks. This and one's not, showing all of them. It's not that detailed. Yeah. Seems like it has a decent amount of information about yeah. each snack in here. And then there was a card that said that one of our snacks is not in this book because of like probably what's going on in the world right now. So they gave us a link that we could go to to get the product information for mm -hmm. that specific snack. So we'll do that when we get to it. Yeah. Oh, I will also link all of the playlists for all of our other food subscription boxes in the description below. We do so many of them at this point. I've lost count of yep. them. So they're all just below. If you're new here, we do a lot of them. We taste a lot of international snacks every month. Okay, so up first we have Hokkaido red bean donuts. These delicious donuts are filled with Anko red bean paste made with azuki beans from Hokkaido. Comforting and rich, they're the perfect snack for colder weather. Well, it smells really good. It does smell really good. I mean, it just smells like a cake donut. Yeah. It had a really nice density to it when I cut it, like it cut really crisply. I've had red bean paste a few times and I don't love it. So I like I'm, it. I'm hoping that I like it today. You can really tell that it's beans. I feel like I can't taste it that intensely. But you can feel it. It has like a bean texture. It's like smooth and creamy. Honestly, this is really delicious. Yeah, it is delicious. I think it adds just a nice texture to the donut itself. Mm -hmm. It really just tastes like a little like munchkin. You're like an old fashioned kind of yeah, donut that, hole. That's what it is. And I love old fashioned donuts. It's mm -hmm. like just Me a too. really, really good flavor. Sometimes old fashioned donuts kind of just taste like gross oil, but mm -hmm. this one doesn't. Like yeah. it tastes like an actually really great donut. I honestly don't taste the beans at all. They're there. For me, it's a positive. I also wanted to mention that the book includes 
the flavor, whether it's sweet or savory, and common allergens, whether it's vegetarian or not. Wow. Up next we have M. Baker's Cookie Custard Flavor. This soft cookie really does taste like custard pudding. It has a lovely vanilla flavor and somehow captures the eggy, creamy flavor of custard too. It really smells custardy. It smells good. It smells kind of like a sugar cookie. It's like a sugar cookie to the next level. Yeah. It's got a really great texture. It's like bouncy. Like it springs back when you bite it. I think the outside of it is a little bit crisp. Mm -hmm. And then the inner part is a little chewy, kind of like a sugar cookie. Yeah. A good vanilla flavor. It's not overly sweet either. It's pretty sweet though, I think. And I think it has a really, really strong custard flavor. Like it tastes like vanilla pudding. Yeah, it's great. It's really good. I kind of wish that it was bigger and we Me had too. more of them. <laughs> this is a lotus root and kakuto black sugar bamkuchen. Renkon lotus root from Ibakari prefecture and kakuto black sugar from Okinawa unite in this delicious layered cake. Soft, sweet, and round like the moon, this cake has a seeing stars. When I saw layered cake, I certainly didn't expect it to be layered quite like this. <laughs> this looks beautiful. Yeah. I love the way this looks and smells. It's so spongy. It smells really sweet. Yeah. That is the best textured cake I think we've ever had in a box. Yeah, I totally agree. It doesn't really feel like a thousand different layers. Like it's not slipping apart or anything. No. But it's kind of dense and spongy and not dry. It has a good crumb to it. Mm -hmm. It's it's pretty smooth. Yeah, and I thought it'd be sweeter. So did I, based off of the scent, but... Mm -hmm. But it has like a nice earthy kind of roasty flavor going on. Yeah, roasty is a good word for it because I want to say like I have the same feeling as coffee, but it doesn't taste like coffee at all, but it's like... It's like caramelized. Similar. Yeah, that's what it is. I think it would taste great with coffee. Next up, we have Zarame Mochi Rice Crackers. These rice crackers are made with mochi gome, also known as mochi rice, which gives them their delicate and airy texture when baked. They're then coated with a flavorful glaze of soy sauce and brown sugar. These smell so good. They smell like soy sauce. Yeah, and they're like almost sticky with the glaze. They look really nice. They do. Whoa. Oh, mm. I love it. We've had similar rice crackers in the past, but I think this is the best one that we've had. I don't know if it's like the best. It's just so different than the other ones. This one is pretty much completely salty. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have that salt sweet thing. It's a little sweet. It's very salty though. It's definitely something I could see myself eating a ton of, like that addictive saltiness. Mm -hmm. The crunch is great though. You get like a richness from the soy sauce, a little sweetness from the brown sugar. Ugh. These are Funwari Meijin Mochi Puffs, Black Syrup Kanako. These mochi are made with 100% Japanese mochi gome rice that is pounded and transformed using a unique patented process into lighter than air confections. Afterwards, they are covered in brown sugar syrup, cocoa powder, and kanako powder for a sweet and nutty flavor. This smells interesting. It does smell good. It almost has that caramely scent. Mm -hmm. The way that it looks reminds me of Irish potatoes. It does. But Doesn't it's really like... light. Yeah. Whoa, mm. oh my God. It's so light. What an experience. It's like 100% lighter than even a cheese doodle. Like it has that same airiness and crispness, Yeah. but it dissolves instantly so good. And then the outside of it is a really finely milled powder of mm -hmm. some sort, lightly sweet. It kind of has like a donutty flavor. Almost. You know when you get like the mix of little donuts and there's that one that has that same coloring, it's like cinnamon? Cinnamon, yeah. It has a similar flavor. I don't think it's cinnamon No, though. it's definitely not cinnamon. It's similar to that, but it's like also incredibly different, the flavor. It's a deep flavor. <laughs> it's really, really good. I don't know how that survived in transit though. How do I? Because of how light and airy it is. I'm shocked that those weren't like pulverized by Me the too. time they got here, but they're so good. I want a ton of those. These are chocolate azuki beans, black sesame kanako. This creamy, dreamy confection is a modern version of amanato, made by simmering azuki beans in sugar syrup, coating it in white chocolate, and rolling it in yummy, nutty kanako and black sesame powder. For those of you wondering, because I was, kanako is roasted soybean flour. Oh, this looks like a little jelly bean. Reminds me of like a little egg, like a little robin's egg or something. That is not what I expected. Mm -mm. It's soft. It's like a paste, almost the same texture as peanut butter. Yeah, it's really good. Almost the same flavor as peanut butter. It is good. Yeah, it's real nutty and sweet. I like that a lot. I guess it's one bean. I don't know. It's a bean. It's totally smooth though. Yeah. I wouldn't think that it's a bean, like even though it's shaped like one. Cause you know, like beans have like a skin. Yeah. This was almost like fluffy. Yeah. 
and just like really smooth and creamy. I like that a lot. Me too. Kind of light, a little bit sweet. Mm -hmm. That seems to be the trend. Yeah. I like that. Me too. Next up is Minatarashi Mochi Monaka. This snack blends two traditional Japanese snacks. Monaka, a mochi wafer case filled with flavored white bean jam, and Motorashi Dango, a Kyoto specialty of skewered dango rice cakes grilled with a sweet soy sauce glaze. It's so sticky on the inside. It's like jelly. Yeah. And then the outside is like a wafer texture kind of. Yeah. No. I just don't like the texture. Hmm. It's a rough texture. The wafer's really soft, probably I imagine because of the jelly on the inside. And that's like a little gritty, but it has that same like sweet and soy sauce kind of flavor as that rice cake. I guess so. I like the flavor, the flavor's great. I almost feel like I'm getting a little bit of like a apricot sweetness, like some sort of fruitiness in there. I don't know. Not at all. I like the flavor of it. The texture's just not my thing. Yeah. It's really jelly on the inside and I don't like jello or soft gummies or anything and that's how my brain is reading it. Mm -hmm. But the flavor is good. It's it's light. Yeah. I like it, but I don't like the texture, so I wouldn't go back for more. Yeah, the texture is hard even on me. So this is our swapped snack, Ishiga Kojima Chili Oil Chips. Ishiga Kojima is one of the Yayama Islands of Okinawa Prefecture. One of the famous island specialties is their chili oil, which gives these chips their bright and fiery flavor. These rice chips are moderately spicy, so know your tolerance going in. So these smell amazing. Oh yeah, it really does. They smell like a meal. Oh, that smells so good. I couldn't tell you what it smells like. It smells like something roasted in oil or... Oh. That's so good. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. That might be like my favorite thing. It's definitely my favorite thing. Nice and hot. The flavor is so similar to something. Mm -hmm. the, I can't put my finger on it though. The flavor and the smell are both really reminding me of something. I feel like I'm only getting a tiny bit of heat. You're getting a lot? Not a lot, like a nice... Yeah, I don't really like spicy things and it's just a teeny tiny bit at the end, which is good. Whatever the flavor is, is like still yeah. hanging on and it's driving me crazy. I can't think of what it reminds me of. It's like slightly more heat than just warm. Like there, you can tell that it's spicy, it's good. What is that flavor? It's just gonna drive me crazy. It'll come to us later tonight as we eat more of these. Good crunch, same kind of rice cracker crunch. Maybe a little bit less intense of a crunch than that other yeah. more like oval shaped yeah, one. Yeah, I think that glaze really helped that one. And this one was a little bit thinner. It seems more just like a chip that you could snack on easily. Like that other one was like a little bit rattling of yeah. your brain. I definitely like this one better. I would like a giant bag, please. Yeah, same. That one is so good. I think I think that's my favorite thing out of this whole box so Me far. Too. Well, we have one more thing. Our last snack is cheese arare salted truffle flavor. This bite-sized rice cracker enjoys the finer things in life. Earthy truffle, tangy camembert, and sharp black pepper all wrapped in a crunchy rice cracker. We typically pair things with tea, but wine might do well here. Oh, there's like cheese in the middle. This one smells similar to those other ones, that like rice crackery, soy sauce scent. Mm -hmm. But there definitely is cheese and like black pepper in the middle. Yeah. It was really hard to cut through this one. Yo, that's crazy. That's real good. It tastes like cheese and crackers with black pepper. Mm hmm There's a lot going on here. You have like a salty sweetness from the rice cracker, very crunchy, almost hard. And then you bite through that and you have like the creamy richness of the cheese and the earthiness of the truffle. And then you get hit on the back end with the black pepper. That's really freaking good. It is really good. It's probably not a snack that I would ever pick, but it kind of reminds me, this is gonna sound terrible. It reminds me of a combo, you know, like the crunchy You're outside right. with the creamy cheese on the inside. Except. It's creamier than a combo. Oh, yeah. A, cr and a combo is kind of like borderline powdery. Well, it's creamier, but then there's also a lot more of it on the inside, and it's definitely crunchier. It's like the fanciest combo you'll ever find, and the flavors are You're right. very luxurious compared to a combo. And I feel like luxury is the theme. Like, all of these things just seem like really nice yeah. snacks compared to the Tokyo treat box, which felt more like fun. Yeah, the Tokyo treat box feels like something you would pick up at like a 7-Eleven. I guess so. Or a convenience store. These just seem a little bit fancier. Yeah, a little bit more homemade. So this box also comes with a tea, which we're gonna have to make. So this is organic hojicha tea. Hojicha is made by roasting sencha green tea, which lowers the caffeine content and adds a toasty roasted flavor. This hojicha is a little on the lighter side in terms of flavor, making it a perfect pairing with both sweet and savory foods. I think we messed up a little bit. I think we're supposed to have the tea with all the snacks. If it's a pairing, right? 
I guess. I don't know. Maybe next time we'll try that. It does smell really like toasted. It does. It really does. I haven't had a ton of hot tea in my life. I don't really like hot beverages that much. So it really smells unlike anything I've ever had before. I went through a big tea phase. I've never smelled anything like this either. So we just boiled five ounces of water and steeped the tea bag in it for about a minute. Mm, that's interesting. It's a light colored tea. It's green tea that's been roasted and you can taste that. Yeah, it really has a, like an earthy scent to it. I guess most tea does though. It's really good if you like tea. It's light in flavor. It pretty much tastes exactly the same way that it smells, just a little bit roasted. Yeah. It's so hot for tea right it now. It really is. I imagine that it's a really good pairing with all these light snacks because it's like a light flavor. There's a little more to it, just like most of the snacks. They're a light flavor, but there's a little more to them. Yeah, especially like that donut and the cake. That would be really, really mm -hmm. good with a hot beverage. Oh my good, not a hundred thousand degree August day. Yeah. Well, thank you for watching. Let us know what your thoughts on Boxu are. If you're already signed up, should we get the classic size box? And if you're not already signed up and this interests you, check out our link below for $10 off of your first box. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already so you don't miss any of our other subscription box videos. And follow us on Twitter and Instagram and like us on Facebook. Those links are down below.